down to our last spear and then we'll be using arrows. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> oh my god. What damage. What is up everyone? Homies Bowyer from BZ Hub. We're playing Far Cry Primal. Nothing different. I mean, same same thing. You know how playthroughs go. Today though, we're going after the tall elk. You ever seen an elk? Well, this one is taller than those from what I hear. Uh, sounds like we need to follow the fireflies here and we can kind of see what those are referring to, I suppose. What it, what that is referring to, I suppose. Got some tapers over here. Here's some fireflies. It's a good thing they glow so much. Oh, we're heading this way. Shere Khan is making quick work of the travel. Oh my goodness. He doesn't, he doesn't know what to think about this. Oh, that is a tall elk. Wowie zowie. I just wanted to uh, <laughs> see him up close, I suppose. This is a tall elk. We're taking chase after him. Look at him. Goodness gracious. Oh, missed our spear throw. Now we've got enemies on our tail as well. They're all seeing this guy. Oh, we got him in the butt. We got two in him. Reload on our spears. Our spears do way more damage than our freaking arrows do. Here we got another th third in him. Taking chase, taking chase. Oh, got him in the leg there. <laughs> He's running with all these spears in him right now. Oh, oh. No, we're missing all of our spear throws. Oh no. We've lost him. Where'd he go? job, Shere Khan. Alright, where'd this freaking elk go? I was just reading the, uh, the mission details. We're supposed to kill it and, uh, and skin it before the Udom do, which is the evil tribe, I suppose. I don't even know where it is right now. Better make a few more spears so that we're ready whenever we find it again. Oh, here's a new dom. <laughs> Just kind of get up close to him like that. Here we go. Got him. Oh, we missed. I think Shere Khan got him. Got a, got a swipe in there, though. Down to our last spear, and then we'll be using arrows. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> oh my god. What damage. Oh. No. We got our spear back though. Goodness gracious thing, this thing has a lot of help. Oh! Getting arrows in him! <gasps> we got him! Oh my gosh! Where did that last arrow f get him? That's what I'm wondering. Good 
job, buddy. <laughs> Shere Khan's happy. Oh my god. Here's a second piece. Got a deer walking right next to us. Look at this guy. Good old saber tooth tiger for your best friend. You can't go wrong. And look at this. Look at that last arrow went right into his freaking noggin there. Had to get some screenshots. <laughs> Wish I had a photo mode. Like we do in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Get a camera. Wow. Skin the tall elk. Fantastic. That was quite a hunt. I mean, we were everywhere. 13 meat, 5 animal hide of rare red elk, and the elk carcass. Got quite a bit from this dude. screenshots of that that dude there okay so that was that was one I was really excited about um, but we have plenty of stuff to do over here we have a outpost here that we need to get um, there's a bonfire over here for a fast travel point and uh, some story missions that we can do as well but uh, I'd like to get this uh, bonfire or this uh, this little fort over here oh that was a little cobra little viper down there gonna poison us but we ran past it fast enough always good to pick up some of these rocks never know when they might come in handy running through all of this terrain some sort of enemy over in that direction Ooh, we're gonna have a pretty vertical view of all this oh shit Oh God, Shere Khan's okay, he's tough. Okay, that is quite a drop though. I don't know if we can make that. There's like a dead mammoth down there. Interesting. That was a blood of Oros too. It's not too bad. It's always, it's always a good thing to find those. You never know when they might come in handy. Some sort of special thing. We're gonna get off uh, Shere Khan here so we can kind of take a closer look at this old place. Uh, call in the owl. Get a good overlook of everything going on. Oh shoot, we just canceled out of that. Here we go, take two. There's a mammoth over there. All right, we've got one guy. I swear that's a guy right there. A little bit lower, I think, so we can see what's going on. Big mammoths. My goodness. And the cool thing is, if we wanted to, we could get one of those mammoths and ride in to the town with one of those mammoths. Weird thing is, I'm not seeing any horns or anything to uh, call in more reinforcements and whatnot which is kind of strange. That almost makes this an easy fort just due to that. So, who knows? Oh, we just spotted another person. Let's go ahead and, um, I don't know, we'll take out. That One guy down. So, uh, what we're gonna do here now a few more arrows here we do have a longbow which we got a while back and this has a pretty impressive zoom on it do some legolas shots like that pretty nice things now those three are pretty close together so if I end up shooting one of them they might uh, warn the other one we'll move a little bit further down here your crown's gonna keep following this. Ooh, this is a long vine. I feel like a fireman. A, per a prehistoric fireman. Uh, these diamond ones don't do much.
Can we shoot through this tree? We can! Freaking gnarly. Okay. See that through the tree shot there? And we made the jump too, because we're freaking amazing. Uh, one thing you have to remember while you're up close like this is to switch your bows. If you're used to doing some uh, sick trick shots like this, dude, he's going to just catch on fire there. Used to doing some sick trick shots. Um, you're not going to be able to do that very easily with the longbow. Does some really good damage, but not a good rate of fire. We'll let our guy out of there. Oh, he's tied up too. Yep. Get out of here. Go. Get out of here. Um... Oh, shoot. Here's a horn. Oh, here's the rest of them. Okay. Made quick work of them. My goodness, the owls just really didn't see them, or I just didn't notice them while we were flying by. I was really wondering why we weren't seeing any horns or anyone to call in reinforcement, but there was the two chieftains, or whatever they may be called, that are allowed to kind of blow the horn and call in reinforcements. So, so good deal. We did end up finding them somehow. See how they do have kind of uh, horns on their back here. They can call in reinforcements as well. Um, can we get anything from this mammoth, though? They kind of tore it to pieces. My goodness gracious. <sighs> okay, well, Shere Khan, let's, uh, let's go. We already got this place. Let's move on to... We have a bonfire. We have a giant fort here. Very hard indeed. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's go get this fort. We might as well just keep on going. Though I really want to go check out this Ukri the Thinker guy. I don't know anything about that. Maybe let's do that. Let's go ahead. Let's go to this campfire. And we'll go check out um, the uh, the camp near here. So we bring up our map again so we can see where that is. There's a beast repel. Interesting. We can protect Winja from predators. I really don't have any interest in doing that right now. Um, but I do have an interest and riding Shere Khan out of here through these rhinos in the south stone and uh, going through these little, this herd of rhinos here that could probably tear us up and moving towards this camp which seems to be on the hill we can see the smoke up above look at these monkeys work of them but they sure did some de damage to me before I was able to deal any to them let's take this route we're not at a very good uh, I guess we could be a little sneaky uh, what up wolves and a bear Jeez Louise. <laughs> you can just hit the F button and Shere Khan will swipe with his freaking giant pause there. Alright, here we go. We're close to uh, where we're supposed to be. Let's get off Shere Khan. Good job, buddy. Did a good job. Bunch of wolves here. <laughs> oh my god, the wolves are gonna chase the goats into the village. Which is where we're heading. Oh, jeez. Oh, I see someone now. Oh, that's a bad guy, too. Alright, let's get this owl out. Maybe we can take that guy out. Um, right away so we don't have to deal with uh, him calling in or her calling in anyone bad not seeing anyone they must be in this little hovel here there's an arrow dude horn so that's a chieftain right there a little arrow chieftain um, and another horn guy another horn horn girl um, just kind of drifting over we just spotted someone. Oh, there we go. All right, like I said, we're gonna take this this guy out. I think. Oh no, we can't because he's a chieftain. Okay. Well, I say we just cancel the out, and what we're gonna do is switch over to the longbow and deal some damage that way. Let's go ahead and try this out. Doing 
okay so far. Took out these two right here. Probably gonna hit this horn here. here that way we can uh, take out our bow and shoot this person as well oh, stay down buddy you're a giant tiger they will see you can't tell if he's looking this way or the other way if he's looking this way he might have the helmet that blocks the shot oh oh longbow gives no F's there we go, another guy down. And now, we just need to kind of make our way over to this chieftain. And hope that no one we didn't spot is in the way. Well, there's two of them now. Like I said, low rate of fire once you uh, once you kind of get into combat. We'll switch back to the regular bow. Oh jeez, everything's on fire now. We better get up to high high ground here if we can. Up on top of this hovel, I think, is a good way to do it. I hope it's a hovel. I keep calling it a hovel. I hope he's moving. Nice! That was the last person. Right on! making work in this freaking episode claimed another outpost did a story mission and claimed two outposts um now what i'm really excited about if once i find shir khan where are you buddy there you are there you are oh geez i always want to heal Okay, we're gonna make our way to Ukri the Thinker here. I don't know anything about this guy. I really don't. I wonder if it's like a DLC or if I just never made it this far into the story to see what what he does, I guess. Go up. Go up, Shere Khan. You gotta go up, buddy. Can't make it across this river. Alright. We're doing good now. Doing good. This way, this way. When I first started making these vi videos, um, just running around was kind of, um, it, it took a lot of, of, uh, oh, graphic power to, like, record. But running on Shere Khan is like two times faster, so I can't imagine the difference in quality. Alright though, we have made it to this Ukri the Thinker guy. I'm curious to see what this is all about. Let's let's go, uh, that's a lot of leopard belts. Fly like a bird. Help Ukri learn to fly. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's see what this is about. I'm curious. Winja. Erky shall we wa patash walla deuce deuce Urki San Patra Patra San Pupau San Patra Ta Ta Pu Buddha Kuala Ta Pu Buddha Kuala This dude is definitely based off of one of the other characters that's always in the Far Cry games. Ta Urki Patash 
we have Patrick Daha to Erky Patash. To Erky Patash. Oh, jeez. Oh. <sighs> Feathers are such an annoyance to get, though, is the problem. Hunting skin animals for Erky. Oh, golly. Okay. What is this going to entail? Well, if it's something that uh, my audience enjoys, it is hunting, so I guess this isn't the worst thing that we could be doing. Uh, I can't see anything because of the mission deal. You want a bow off, huh? set my cat on fire oh geez okay so <laughs> all right so we're gonna go on the hunt for a snowbird a tortoise a raven and a bite fish I, I have an idea of where the bite fish may be uh, but the other ones I'm not really sure oh there's a bite fish right there I'm a uh, I'm kind of curious it's kind of just fun film to uh to go get the bite fish in the water <laughs> let's go for it try to get the uh the animation to pop up nope he's not it's not popping up Looks like we might have to uh, just shoot our way through this whole thing. I am wondering where the uh, snowbird and the tortoise... Tortoises are usually close to water, but just kind of chilling about. Is the raven one of these flying birds in the air here? I don't see the tortoise anywhere. Okay. And maybe... Oh, what's that right there? Oh, you know what? That's the snowbird. <laughs> we got two of them. Did get two of them. Okay. We only have one arrow left. I don't see any hardwood around here. There's one way over here. I need a, I need a few more arrows. Thirteen arrows should help. Oh, and here's some stuff over here. Board stash. Oh, here we go. That's definitely gonna help. Just hitting. The space bar to pick up as many as we can. Oh no. Look at all these bastards that showed up. They're trying to take my tortoises. Oh my god, three in a row. Four in a row! Freaking die, bro. Oh my, I'm, I'm terrible. Go get her. Thank you, Shere Khan. Goodness gracious, buddy. What was that? That was the raven, I bet. Oh, no. Oh, we were so close. Get that thing, Shere Khan. Bunch of leopards over here. Or jaguars, whatever they would call them in the game. Okay, now there is a bite fish down here somewhere. There we go, right there. Oh, we got it! There is a second one in here. There it is, right there. A little bow fishing. Oh. Oh, I got it with the spear. Right on. Here we go. We gotta dive in and get our bite fish now. 
Look at this bastard. Oh my golly. Take a screenshot. Okay, got a bite fish head. That's good. We'll need that. I doubt, I don't know what we'll get if we skin this one over here now. Probably won't get anything good. We need the scales for a recipe, but I don't think it'll give it to us. No, just the bite fish head. Okay. Oh, well, we tried. So, little snowbirds here. Poor little things. <laughs> get the feathers from those. Look at them go. They're just <laughs> like dodo birds. They have no idea what's going on. <gasps> Look at all the tortoises. I feel bad. I, I love tortoises. Made it a quick kill, though. Spear to the tortoise there. Yep, 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 yep. Tortoise shell. There we go. Good deal. And uh, now we're just missing a raven. We had a chance to get our stupid raven. And we lost it. So let's just see what we're gonna do here. Um, Raven, Raven, Raven. If you were a Raven, where would you be? That's the question to ask yourself. Definitely not a snowbird. Oh, here's stuff. We're gonna have to shoot one of these in the air. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh. We are so close. I, I feel like we are. I feel like we're close anyway. we need to I feel like we need to go after this one what is that oh it's a leopard I was gonna say is that a freaking raven oh <gasps> we got it oh my god they do they land on these freaking rocks oh these are bite fish in here bite fish are getting us <laughs> get out of here freaking bite fish Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look on that raven's face. Okay. We got what we needed. Now, now we go. Now we go back way, way up there. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna fly, I guess. <laughs> God, this is so bad. I thought that was a bear. A stone. We don't want to put that stone in with this guy. I feel like, uh doesn't matter if we did. I don't think it's going to end well either way. So, here we go. God, I feel bad for this dude. Urki. <laughs> Why did we get all that random stuff if all we handed him was two feathers? Oh god. Go watch Erky jump. Where are we supposed to go? Way down here on the rock. Oh golly. Why are we watching this? It's starting to get dark. Why? Oh golly. Okay, everyone. Well, let's go say goodbye to Erky. <laughs> oh, he did make like kind of wings almost. This beautiful sunset. Erky's going to fly. At least he pulled off some sort of Assassin's Creed thing there. This is the uh, the first version of Ezio. 
There's some blood down here. I guess we don't see him. He's just in here somewhere. <laughs> the crazy guy. Okay. All right. All right. Jesus. Jesus. All right. Um, let's hop on. Share Khan here. Figure out what we want to do. Um, lots of interesting things here. This is the great... Prashrawa. Is that a waterfall or a cave? I can't really tell. Um, the Udom are all going this direction, which is good to know, I suppose. I think to kind of sum up the episode, let's go this way and we'll get the bonfire. And then we'll figure out what we want to do then. Gosh dang it. Couldn't go to the side of that stupid fire there. Okay, so we're here now. We want to go to this bonfire. Where is Shere Khan? There you are. Here we go. We could ride a mammoth. We have that skill. We can ride mammoths. We can ride Shere Khan. We can ride bears. As you've seen in one of my uh, previous episodes. That's a bear. Oh god, I thought that was a mammoth. <laughs> I was thinking about jumping off Shere Khan and riding it into battle. But a wild bear is not going to be happy. Alright. Oh golly. They almost spotted us. I mean, they totally did spot us, but... They didn't make a big deal about it, did they? Alright, let's send in the old recon owl. Scout out the terrain here. We do have a bomb. We have a chieftain bomber. Um, an arrow. Chieftain arrow guy. Anyone up near the bonfire? No. I wonder if we light an arrow on fire and shoot it into the bonfire, what happens? I'm curious. I want to try it. Um, I can't take anyone out with the owl here. I don't have a high enough skill to do so. But uh, that might be something we look into. Let's go ahead and try that theory out. <laughs> I'm curious. I really am. Um, let's see. We need, a, we need a good shooting lane here. I think that ought to clear it. Just need to watch those branches, I guess. Not in actuality, but just, you know. There we go. Here we go, everyone. Let's try this out. He lit it. <laughs> They're all like, what? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I have some freaking yaks here. Oh, they all know something's up. What I'm gonna do here is uh, throw down some bees. There we go. Avoiding the poison and <laughs> shooting a clutch arrow. And of course, we already have the bonfire on fire. Man, that was nice. I'm I'm happy about that. I think we did some work. I think that that's ought to, that ought to be what we do every time just shoot in a, uh, a flaming arrow just to get it on fire and then fight everyone. That kind of threw everyone off. They had no idea what was going on. Well, that was pretty good. I think that's a pretty good episode, everyone. Uh, I think we got quite a bit done. We took, like, how many bases did we take? We took two bases. We hunted a giant elk, and uh, we tried to help a guy learn to fly, which, you know, you, you saw how that worked out. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe helps us out. And uh, yeah, see you in the next episode. Whoa.